I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question on ratio of area of triangles. The question here is ABCD is a trapezoid. Ratio of areas of triangle OAB and CAB is we are given four choices. So that is the trapezoid where the parallel sides are in the ratio of 4 is to 3, right? So these sides are parallel and they are in the ratio of 4 is to 3. You need to find ratio of areas of triangle OAB. So OAB is this small triangle and CAB is this big triangle. Four choices given to you, right? So that is the question for you. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Let me go through the concept for similar questions, which should help you to answer all questions like this. So what I have done here is made it kind of a general question for three different cases. So we'll consider a, B, C, D as a trapezoid, just as in the previous case. And we'll find ratio of areas of different triangles involved in trapezoid. So that will give you a good overview. So here, case A is comparing triangle C, O, D and triangle A, O, B. Triangle A, O, B. Case B is to compare triangle COD with triangle AOD. And then the last case here is to compare the triangle OAB area with the area of triangle DAB. So these are the three cases and normally you will have such cases. So let's do them one by one. So the first case here is to compare COD with AOB. So COD means you are looking into this triangle, correct? And AOB is right across, right across. So these two are similar triangles. So what we know here is uh, triangle COD is similar to triangle AOB with side ratios as 5 is to 4, right? So we know DC is to AB is 5 is to 4. And when we have similar triangles, ratio of areas COD, COD is a bigger triangle. So in this case, we know ratio is side square, correct? So, so we know the answer for this is that the ratio of triangle COD over triangle area AOB should be equal to 5 over 4 whole square, which is indeed 25 over 16, correct? Now, that is our case A. Now, let's take case B, which is considering the triangle COD. So, COD is uh, this big triangle, COD. And we are going to compare with AOD. So AOD, let me highlight with a different ink. AOD. So this is AOD. Right. So, so this is the set, set B, which we are going to compare. Now is that in case I drop an altitude, then that is going to be common also, right? So, so in that case, we can take sides as a ratio of uh, 5 to 4. But what we can see here is that if I drop a perpendicular, in that case, the perpendicular height, that is, is going to be in the ratio of so let's drop a perpendicular in this case. So, so what we notice here is that if I drop a perpendicular from here, let me extend this side. 
okay so let me drop a perpendicular it doesn't look like so anyway so kind of like this so this perpendicular is common to both these triangles do you see that so in this case what we see is height is common now if one of the sides is common area is half base into height and height is common so that means the ratio will be ratio of the sides correct ratio will be ratio of the sides so if this side OC is let us say 5x in that case OA will be 4x correct? since the triangles are similar perfect therefore the ratio of triangle area COD to triangle area AOD will be in the ratio of sides which is 5x over 4x which is equal to 5 over 4. So in this particular case height is common. Now let's take the last example here. We will now compare area of triangle OAB. So OAB is let me shade it in a different color. Okay. So OAB is the small triangle and DAB. DAB is, is what we shaded half earlier. So DAB is this triangle. Okay. So what you see here is that the side AB is common. So we have AB side is common. So if one side is common, then the ratio of area will be ratio of height. Correct? So the idea is to find now the ratio of height of both these triangles. Correct? Now, what we can see here in these two triangles that this is the big triangle right so if i draw the height here for example let me sketch one here that becomes the height in the ratio of let's call this as 5y and then this will be 4y correct so height of the bigger triangle is 5 plus 4 right so so we can write that the triangle area oab over area of the triangle DAB so OAB OAB is a smaller triangle OAB is a smaller triangle this time so the smaller triangle OAB is just 4Y and the big triangle DAB has got the total height of 4 plus 5 right so it is 4Y plus 5Y which is 9 right so we get ratio of 4 is to 9 so in this case the ratio is 4 is to 9 so I hope that makes sense correct now let's get back to our test question I hope this helps a bit so here is the test question by now you must have solved it so in this particular case what do we notice we are trying to find the ratio of area of triangle OAB over area of triangle CAB. So OAB is this small triangle and CAB is that big triangle. So we notice that they have common base. So if they have common base, then this ratio should be in the ratio of heights, right? So height of of big triangle triangle OAB divided by height of triangle small CAB in this case CAB is a bigger triangle okay so what is the height of CAB let's drop the perpendicular here okay so if you drop the perpendicular here so you can now compare right so these are the two small and big sides correct so their ratios clearly is 3 is to 4 right so so you could see I mean it's better to draw this line here so that you could compare directly correct? so from here it is easier to 
observe that this height is let us say 3y in that case that height is 4 times y and total will be 7y do you see that so therefore the ratio of area of OAB the smaller one which has 3y as the height to bigger one which is 7y as the height is 3 over 7 so option B is the right option right so that is how you could get the answer of such a question I hope it makes sense feel free to write your comment share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'll be great thanks for watching and all the best